2018. I hope you have a high bar to fill because Delaman Crybaby filled that bar and exceeded it in so many ways. Like, holy shit, was this little mini series and all that, that what we got to see from Netflix was goddamn amazing. Now, people know already that I've talked about Devilman before and some of this material because I'm actually a fan of Devilman. I love some of Gonda Guy's works. And this was interesting as like a 50 year like an anniversary they just decided to do this huge little project where it's just like which is gonna do Delaman with a couple of twists and we're gonna make it the most beautiful looking <laughs> going to guy thing you've ever seen like one thing like immediately that you will uh, take away first thing from the show is that this has an amazing art direction like I think like this has one of the most gorgeous looking like when you just look around and like colors are flashing everywhere and it's like a psychedelic acid trip for the most part it is insane it works for some of the parts like on there and all the i will say this is not a perfect show this is at all not a perfect show at all but there are some amazing things i will say this already for the people that are curious about this this is 18 plus as well there is there is gore there is violence there's sex there's drugs there is there's a lot of things going into this version of Della man so I really say if the, the first episode is probably I'd say the goriest and like the, the most horrendous part of it so if you could if you could survive through that stuff then I think you're all right for the entire journey but just throw a little heads up so our main character from what we can see is uh, Kira who from this part we can see is like a put like he's a complete and utter pussy he's just like uh, I just uh, I'm gonna protect people and it's like he has this weird thing where he's like he cries to people But and he's like you're crying too and it's like oh uh, uh, All right, man like ca calm down He's pretty wimp uh, and he lives with like his childhood friend slash girlfriend like Miki And it's just like oh, she's like a fast track runner and it's just like she's the best But oh no, she's actually uh, getting some money on some side by doing some modeling shit with a scumbag and it's like and you see with his best friend, like, kind of Rio, like, like, their relationship is the weirdest thing in this entire series. Is like, Rio is a super powerful, like, no, all, like, scientist, even though he's the same age, he's, like, about, like, fucking 16, 18 or so. And he's like, look, I found out this sick shit, come to the Sabbath party, where, like, I think demons are real, where, like, people are just having it off, people are having sex, it's just people are going around naked and he's just like still like going around he's like look i'm gonna like reveal like the identity of like demons to the entire world and i'm gonna make you into one as well and he starts like stabbing people going all around and it's like horrendous like you just see he's just attacking innocence like left right and center and this is causes the demons to come out because they adore blood they enjoy lust violence they enjoy uh, like adore pretty much every kind of like greedy thing that humanity wants and alongside some of those more worse parts of like the entire series as well go through that and we get to see our main ca uh, character possessed <laughs> like by amon one of the like greatest demons and becomes devil man that, like Devil Man from the first episode, holy shit! You get to see Devil Man in full action. The show does not hold back in his powers, and I will say, this is probably the more faithful of all the Devil Man material to like the ending and like some of the stuff. And it's like kind of very hard to dance around some of the parts in this series because. A lot of them are very heavily spoiler based. A lot of them involve like some really tragic things. I want to say this is not a happy story at all. Like do not expect nice things to happen to the characters. There are some great little character moments here and there. But this is not a happy story. And I feel like with the material that they were going with. This is kind of the more perfect time to adapt something like this. In like a modern world of all our problems and everything. Like I think this is the more perfect time to kind of like adapt it. Because when like the later half of this series. Like it gets into some shit. <laughs> like some really serious shit. And it is like heart-wrenching at some points it is absolutely horrifying to see who are the real demons in this world is it the actual demonic army or is it humans because both sides do some horrific things and some of them try to do good things like it is a horrifying tale like at the end there were some interesting additions that they did from the original Dead Man manga. I'd like to say as well, Miki was probably one of the characters that got a way much better. Because in just the original series, she was just like fawning over the actor. It's like, oh, he's so manly. He's so, like, he's so cool now that he's changed. And that's really her. 
and she's got a personality, she's got a story, she's getting involved in, like, a bunch of the stuff. Like, Akira, I absolutely adore his more, like, badass <laughs> version. And, like, with be Akira, I was like, alright, look, I I've just gotta wait for the badass Akira. But it's like, yeah, I understand where he was coming from with this whole little crybaby thing, and that's kind of where the show comes from. Same thing, like, with, like, when, with Demon Akira as well. But, th like, this guy just doesn't give a fuck. He, the guy is there, like, blasting porn in the, like, like, in the fucking, like, in the school, loud as hell. He don't care. He's fucking like, breaking shit, getting into fight with gangs, which, that was the weirdest thing, because I know they're supposed to be, like, based off, like, those bullies from, like, the first chapter, but they're now, like, rapping gangsters, and they're, like, doing some rap and shit, and I'm like, alright, that's a little weird to <laughs> go into it, but fine, it's a, it was a cool addition. I preferred them in this version than I did the original manga, and that's a real big takeaway. I love the manga, like, especially as this was the series, like, the original manga inspired Berserk a lot. <laughs> so, there's a, there's a reason it's a little bit more high up for me in my heart, because it's a series I already love Berserk, and it's like, oh, it took stuff from this? Oh, I can see why. I will say it gets comically goofy at some point, so, like, this is not a perfect adaptation. As amazing as I think, like, a lot of the animation is, especially the art direction, like, just holy shit, there are some really bizarre looking scenes in there and it's whenever you see like someone like a demon or something like that running and they're like running around like a like a fucking like the, the safest word to you is like they go full retard with it where they're like just running around like that and it's like it doesn't look good i like i get what they're trying to do it's like oh that's not even human anymore but it doesn't look good it just doesn't and it's like it's more hilarious than anything there are like and even as well, it does look stiff at some points. So I did notice that in like episode one, there was like, oh, that shot didn't look too great and some of that. But it's like, you see that maybe four times in the, in in the entire 10 episode show. And it's like little bit tidbits here and there. I'm probably sure there's more moments here and there. So like, really, like, you're not going to get an entire like, you know, amazing, just like, oh, it's just animation and like art fest, like throughout the entirety of it. Especially as well, I do, I haven't really touched the opening yet. I, although the, uh, the, the opening is just go, some person go, man, 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 human. Like, it's just all that. I fucking love that opening because there's so much shit going on with that. Like, I love the art direction. I love just all this, like, just, it feels like more like church murals at some point. It's just, like, really artistic choice. Like, I, and that's the best way to say it. Someone just sniffed, like, a bunch of cocaine and he just decided to make all of this, like, stuff for, like, Delaman. He was like, I'm going to read some Delaman and I'm going to do drugs and this is how I'm going to make this show. And that's pretty much how it is. And especially as well, like, it's like, like some of the best parts of this show is that they handle some of the characters really well. Like, I think the turtle was handled really interesting. There was a nice little twi uh, twist on him in this version. Cyrene, I felt like maybe could have used an extra episode or something. Like, because uh, I feel like, oh, she was built up and then there was like not too much gone more into it. Which I, I think I kind of uh, prefer the original Cyrene to her. But like, she's still like an interesting. It's like, they're their own version of their characters. I kind of like actually love some of these things. I, there's one, and it's like the King of Demons, which is like, he didn't get too much time to shine. And I was like, this is what I think. I think I don't know whether or not I would say if the show needed a full episode, or if it just needed an extra 12 minutes or something to like give some light to some like some characters in the show. Because not everyone gets their time to shine, but boy, oh boy, does fucking Akira get his shit. Because he is awesome throughout the entirety of this. I will just say this as much. Episode 9 and 10 just make you feel bad. They're just horrifying episodes. Like, for still, like, they're not good. I, I teared up at the end of nine, and then as well through like episode, the last episode, I was just in a wash of just oh, <laughs> oh no. And honestly, I would have loved because I know there's the uh, sequel to the series, or it takes place afterwards. The series is uh, Violet's Jack, so I would have loved that they had a little nod to that. But speaking of nods, this show. By God, do they love to like repping the original Devil Man? Because there is a ton of stuff you see in there. There's like nods to like Devil Lady. There's a nod to like they play the original fucking opening of the series, and it's like holy shit, I am losing my mind. Like these guys, like it's a huge giant Go Nagai tree. You see Akira's room and it's nothing but Go Nagai manzingers and fucking nothing but like get a rope and all this shit. Like it's all just the classics up there and I'm like that's fucking awesome. That's just amazing. 
and it's just like, like I said, now I've watched this, and I watched, by the way, I watched pretty much most of this in dub. I watched, like, maybe the last two, three episodes in sub, just to kind of get a little bit of a comparison on this. The dub is fine. Some of the characters, like, more the side characters are a little bit iffy. I think Ryo was a little weird in this one, I, I, like, in the English dub. But I, I liked Akira. I think he was really good in, like, uh, his dubbing uh, cast and all that. But, honestly, it's up to you and all that. I think, like, the dub is fine, and I think the sub... It's good. It's just pretty good and all that for the most part. But it's like, I would probably, if either or and all that, if I had to like go for it again, because I, I plan to at some point, I'll probably go through sub again. But the dub is good as well. So, and plus as well, like they have many other languages choices as well, like for just all of them on Netflix. So that is fantastic. So overall, like I can't get too much more into it without heavily spoiling some of this stuff in this uh, series and all that. But all you just need to know is, if you want to feel bad, and if you want to see some of the most glorious, like, if you want to see what Berserk should have been, then, yeah, check this out and all that, because this is what Berserk 2016, 2017 got. And I'm more than just happy that this is easily the best, like, adaptation of Devil Man that they've ever had. That's just hands down. Like, this is some of the best. I'm glad with some of the changes. Some of them are a little bit... Like, I'm not too sure. Like, I, I think it outdoes the manga in so many ways as well. Like, I think it outdoes a lot of it in certain parts. And then as well, I was like, oh, the manga did this bit a little bit. But then again, that's like different versions of it. And it's like, I probably enjoyed this a little more with some of, with overall some of this stuff. But we'll have to wait to see and all that with like more rewatches. But I'd heavily recommend this and all that to people who can have a little bit of the stomach to stand through the gory stuff. And some of the more stupid stuff that this show does because sometimes you're like really really all right, all right like we're gonna be doing this shit so it's not for the faint hearted but there's a real message to this story at the end trust me it's not all just blood gore ass tits and titties and all that like it's but there is some dumb moments in there as well so overall it is amazing i really hope the rest of 2018 could deliver or something like that because this was something i was fully satisfied with and i was gripped every episode it was like yes give me more give me more i knew that and I guess, like, complaints, like, yeah, the animation looks really fucking wacky at some parts and all that. And, like, honestly, at one of the new original characters, he's a he's an asshole. <laughs> like, and I really didn't like it for the whole way. And it's like, he just did something right in the last episode. It was like, oh, all right, you're just doing that then. And it just came out of nowhere and it kind of made no sense for the most part. But, like, over, and, like, more pluses, it's just, like, most of the original cast that they got into this is, like, it's fantastic. I'll, like the, honestly I liked a lot of the new original stuff and like that they added the characters there was a brand new character as well that they added as well uh, Miko who I thought had a really great story with like the rapping guy and stuff like, I thought that was like really interesting and doing the overall it's just fucking good just watch it like there's, there's how much more can I like really push to say watch fucking Devil Man Cry Baby it's amazing I'm glad that like Netflix is like helping getting some of this really good adaptations out there and it puts a high faith in, I hope Saint Seiya is this good. I know it's a completely different studio, but I hope and all that with like these studios, they have time to put these out. And it's like, there you go, have them there. And they're all as gorgeous and just as amazing as this. So that's all for me. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you guys though next time.